All right, ladies and germs. I know, uh, know the uh, lighting here is not uh, spectacular, but uh, I've been uh, work in progress. So uh, it's quite a lot of each of those is two foot by four foot. So I mean, this whole mountain of stuff, and I already took some out to the, the trash. So um, if you look in here, see uh, anything of interest? Just loose wiring, run for the lights, which is, suits me because I'm gonna probably yank those out and put in a whole bunch more lights and use some LEDs or something so I can cram a million onto one circuit. Uh, you know, I'll do all the, the safety calculations, you know, hook them up until it starts to smoke and then take one out. Uh, and this uh, plumbing fixture over here, which goes back to our mysterious air fitting, runs all the way around, comes down here, comes uh, through the wall on the outside, and it goes around down somewhere over there, down next to the electrical box. But somebody done chopped off every piece and every fitting, uh, unfortunately. So that means I couldn't hook up any air or it all just blow right out. So uh, I'll be thinking about that, seeing if I can reuse the pipe that's already up there. Uh, for it blows right up in my face. It's, uh, I see a three-quarter inch 480 PSI. Let's hope that's the same thing as air pressure. Uh, schedule 40 blah 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 PVC. I ought to do it 480 PSI. I ain't gonna push 100 and... <laughs> a compressor cuts off at 90, but it says 150, so uh, I think we'll be all right. Uh, just I gotta glue me some pieces on to restore it to what it's supposed to be. Still got the drywall anchors in place, so maybe I'll find something that's an exact match. <laughs> Likely story. Um, and I reckon I was going to go all the way down to the bare uh, framework. Now, do I put in more drop ceiling lights and just leave open drop ceiling grid, or do I yank out the grid entirely and hang lights at random intervals or approximately align with the rafters, which is approximately where the drop ceiling is anyway? I mean, it's, it's almost perfect perfect as carpenters get anyway but um do i hang them up directly from the rafters put in insulation up a uh, higher raise the whole height of the ceiling a little bit except where the lights hang down uh that's what i originally was thinking but you know it's about five times as much work as leaving oh they didn't cut me off anyway um so yeah so all that mess uh i'm itching like uh swimming in fire ants um and Pretty soon, uh, once this is all 100% cleared out of the ceiling, there's no more tearing down, then I'll do the cleaning up, and I can start moving stuff in once I'm cleaning up, is the theory. Uh, if I want to put in fresh insulation or, or any of this stuff ever again, it'll probably make a mess when I put it up too, but that's all moist, well, not moist, but previously moist, disintegrating bits of paper, dirt daubers, spiders uh, the size of your hand dead of course i would never be able to kill one myself on account of uh the size of the thing and i'm too scared uh but anyway um oh yeah there was that was a i mean it was shriveled up and ugh, good thing it was dead when i found it um or it would own the garage now so yeah so this is a mess and i i hadn't destroyed these things so those just tiles just crumbly is all get out. I piled the good ones over here and then the crumblier ones that way and then the crumbliest ones are already in the trash in case I wanted to trim any areas off and, and leave some closed sections like the, the bathroom and the storage room still have drop ceiling in them. So, uh, I'm not a contractor or even halfway competent so let me know what I should do with this before I go and do it anyway. Later Gators.